Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. I want to welcome you to this very first website design with WordPress tutorial. And in this series, I will be teaching you how to create dynamic and super duper responsive websites or landing pages or even a blog using WordPress. These websites are totally responsive. You could order open it using a system, a tablet or even your phone. Everything is going to look very, very responsive. This requires no programming language or coding knowledge. Everything is done using drag and drop. If you stay with me and follow every single step I'm going to be teaching you in this series, you should be able to create your own website professionally in no time. The good thing about this series of tutorials is that it does not need any or little internet access. So with everything you are going to be doing in this particular series of tutorials is going to be strictly offline. What are the things you actually need for this? To follow up with these tutorials, one you'll be needing your ZAM, and this ZAM will be using it to serve as our offline server and a host where we are going to be testing all our websites. You have you need your WordPress, you need Chrome browser or any form of browser you have on your system. You also be needing needing an Elementor plugin. You also be needing a WordPress theme of your choice. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using Flux. For the sake of this tutorial, you also want the last thing you'll be needing in this section is just your time. When I mean your time, I just need like 30 to 1 hour of your time every day for this tutorial, and you see that in no time you should be creating your own professionally looking website without waste of time. If you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new videos. Without further waste of time, let's go straight into the tutorials. Okay, for this set of tutorial, I said you're going to be needing your exam so you might have downloaded your exam and installed your exam also you might have downloaded your wordpress and installed your wordpress you might have have your browser as i said so now we'll go go straight to into opening our exam control panel what you're going to do once you've installed your exam you're going to just come here and ensure you look for exam here is it and ensure you start your exam double click on your exam control panel when you double click on it it's going to open this way so this is the way it's going to be so i'm going to leave it like this and show you something now after doing that you are going to come to your browser now uh, before you come to your browser there's another thing you're going to do like now i already have my everything downloaded i have my wordpress downloaded i have the Elemental plugin downloaded the flux team downloaded so you on this LM So now on the WordPress what you're going to do is to extract the WordPress You are going to right click and extract the WordPress. So now what you're going to do now. I've already extracted my yeah, is it? I've already extracted mine. So what you're going to do now There's the folder of which I copied it again here so what you are going to do now I'm, once you get that file extracted ensure you copy the wordpress inside so for my case i've already copied it to this side so i'm going to copy it now so ensure you copy it once you've copied it you come to your c drive come to your disk drive c once you come to your disk drive c you are going to see zam just click on the zam and you see ht dot you are going to see ht dot so once you double click on ht dot you are going to see this particular folder this is where all your website will be stored so now i have a folder here can spell design i have a folder here 
floodgate is outside have already been working on so now you can either choose to paste your wordpress inside this folder or choose to create yeah like now if you see i have this wordpress inside this particular folder so i'm going to do the same thing here let me say i want i'm going to create a new folder and name it let me say king's tech let me name it king's tech So I'm going to be creating a website for this King's Tech. So I'm going to make use of this. Double click on it, open the King's Tech, and now I'll paste my website inside here. So you can see it's actually copying. So we'll be waiting for it to finish copying while doing this. So now I'm going to go back to my Remember, I installed. I've already oh, opened. Yeah, I want what? Remember, what we are going to be doing here now is to go to our dashboard on localhost. For you to do that, you are going to on your browser. You are on your browser. You are going to type in localhost. So I'm going to type in localhost. Just ensure you type localhost. Once you've typed it, you are going to press on enter. But if you notice what is going to happen here is that it's not actually going to open. It's going to throw an error. This is the error I mean I wanted you to see. So now this error was shown because I did not start up my ZAM control panel. So what you are going to do now is to go back to your ZAM control panel and start it up. So I'm going to go to my ZAM control panel, ensure you start up your Apache and my SQL. Once everything is set and working perfectly, it's going. Everything is going to change. You can see this one that is yellow here is going also going to change green. Like my SQL is working perfectly well now. Just wait a little. This one will also change to green. So let's just okay. It's, everything is set and working fine. So now I'm going to read, run this again. Once I do that, you can see it's actually opening my browser for me. So it's actually open the localhost dashboard what i'm going to do is to come to my php admin php my admin just click on that it's going to after clicking on this it's going to open for you the php my admin dashboard now this is the dashboard what you're going to do now is to click on your new you have to ensure you create a database you can see there are so many databases here already you can spare the plugin I've been working with. So now I'm going to open a dashboard. I mean a database for. So I'm going to enter the database name here. So let me say skin best. I'll use skin best. King's tech. King's tech is my database. King's tech is the database. So now leave this one as it is. Then click on create. Once you've done that, you can you will see that. King's Tech will be created in this among this. Here is it, King's Tech. And if you can see, this is our King's Tech. But there's no, you can see. So now, from here, what you are going to do now is to let me open a new tab. Now, it's still copying. So, I have to wait a little for it. You can see it's almost done okay it's done so what you're going to do is to enter your address again remember i saved that particular wordpress inside a folder so i'm going to call the full name of the folder first on my you can see on my address by here you have to call that's localhost but localhost slash the name of the folder the name of the folder was king's tech so i'm going to ensure i call the king's tech then slash wordpress wordpress so if i do not i never created a folder for it i'm just going to do um if i never created a folder for it i'm just going to do localhost slash wordpress but since i put it inside a folder it's going to be localhost slash what uh, king's tech then the wordpress so now after doing that i'm going to do enter
okay this is what we'll be having now so it's going to take us to where we have this to this place so what you're going to do there are some steps to require you to start doing something to your php files your so but i'm going to show you the easiest instead of going to configure all your database name all these things in your php dot and wordpress dot config file so what i'm going to do is to show you how to bypass it using the default wordpress settings so i'm going to go click on let's go so what you're going to do to take you to this place now here's the default settings your database name now you are in this side you are going to enter the data the name of the database you created which is kinstech in my case i created kinstech as the name of the database we created in this my php.admin you can see we have it as kinstech kinstech so now i'm going to come back here now on the username here is the default username so that you won't be it won't take you to go and start configuring all those parts you are going to the default username is root ensure you enter root as your default username so now on the password area you are going to leave the password area blank that is the default so after doing that you leave every other these two the way it is because the, our local host we are using here is our host that host database we are using here is local host then it we will just leave it the way it is and then after doing that we click on submit so once you click on submit it's going to open this place for you you click on the run installation you are going to click on run installation So it's going to take you to another page now in this page this is where you enter the name of the site so i'm going to enter the name of my site which is king's tech now the username let me say the, leave the username as the same king's tech then password yeah you have to choose a strong password you have to choose a strong password so i'm going to choose a password here So your email you are going to enter your email also you will have to ensure you enter your email so i'm going to enter my email and enter any email you want to just so now you are going to after doing this now you are going to don't stick on this particular box just ignore it and click on install so after doing clicking on install what is going to happen is that it's going to take you through your website it will do all the whole installation for you then after this the next thing you're going to see is it's going to that require you to log in into your website as an admin okay here is it where is what we have now we're going to just click on that so now what we're going to do is just to click on login once you click on login it's going to take require you to log into your website here is it so now we are going to now click on this to login these are the details already i actually saved it that's why it came out so these are the details i've logged in so it's going to open our dashboard for us you can see it's already opening the dashboard so yeah here is it here is the dashboard for our websites now so now you can see that if you are actually familiar with wordpress you can see that this is how our dashboard usually looks like so now you what you're going to do if you want to see the site we already have now is to come to this place and right click and open it let me open it in new tab so this place will still be open so once you've done that you can see our site is actually opening up and yeah it's it. yeah it's the site we got now so here is our site live and running in our wordpress now localhost now so from here we can start editing our websites to our taste you can start building on this particular site now change to make this site to turn into a very beautiful and dynamic website so now when this is in this particular set I believe you might have already set up your WordPress to this extent. 
you might have already followed me along through all these all these steps and you have gotten your own site with your own name the way it is ignore the fact that it looks ugly and so empty you're going to i'm going to show you walk you through or how you're going to edit this into a looking for it to look like a professional website like the one you're actually seeing you can see it's having so many beautiful features so i'm going to show you how to edit your website into getting something amazing like this so for this place this is where i'm going for now this is where i'm going to stop for this particular video so i don't want the video to be too long so ensure you watch the next video after this so that you get to learn everything you need to know into creating your own website professionally if you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new videos okay this is where we stop for now bye